Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Wix haul to share with you. So I have been placing a lot of orders lately and um, I just haven't had the time to film them but hopefully today I will get through most of them if not all of them. So I'm focusing on Wix right now and I do have quite a bit to go through so I'm just gonna go through them real fast and, and do like the sent descriptions and everything like that. And uh, so when I did the order, I got an email from Steven, I believe it was, and he had told me that they were doing like a summer special or something and that my order qualified for the summer special. So I actually got a partial refund of like $8 or something. I don't know what the summer special was. I don't know what the coupon was for. I don't know how you got it. Um, I just got that email, which I thought was really nice. And then I also got... A referral bundle because he said in the email that um, I guess I had referred people to them and they've gotten some extra business because of me you know telling you guys about it and my friends and stuff about it so I thought that was so sweet so when I opened the box this was sitting on top as well as samples so this was the referral bundle that I got so let's get into those so the first one that I got is farmhound so obviously I got two of those and the scent description for that one is spices, cinnamon, clove, and sweet apple. So that already sounds really good. Yeah, I really like this one a lot. I hope it's on the website when um, they do the restock because I know that there's a restock coming this Friday. I have been so excited for it because they're doing so many awesome like fall scents and everything. So I'm really, really excited and I'm definitely going to place an order. And then the other scent that they gave me was A Leaf in the Sheets. And I don't have a scent description for this one. I try to find it on the website. I don't know if it was um, just not offered yet or if it was and they're just out of it. I'm really not sure. I did look on the scent descriptions like page. So maybe I missed it. I don't know. But this smells like laundry, but it smells like cinnamon and like fall something as well. Hang on. Yeah, it smells like laundry, but then it also smells like there's like maybe cinnamon or nutmeg or clove or something in there. It's actually kind of a good combination. <laughs> and then I also got three just regular samples. So the first one that I got is gummy pie. And this one is gummy bears, fruity slush, and pie crust. And I thought that sounded like such a unique <laughs> like combination I don't really know how I feel about this one because I don't normally like I wouldn't normally go for like gummy scents or like slushy scents it's just not scents that like I gravitate towards it's really not that bad though I guess I like the gummy bear part of it I don't know that's so strange I'm gonna have to like melt that one and see what I how I like it okay then I also got sugar lane which is caramel apple cider, pink sugar, and gummy bears. So I guess she really likes this gummy bear scent. This one is really nice. I like the caramel apple cider a lot. That's mainly what I smell is the caramel apple, ci apple cider and a little bit of pink sugar. I actually really like this a lot. I never really thought of mixing like pink sugar with um, cider scents. So that's actually really good. I like it a lot. And then the last sample that I got is Autumn Orchard. And again, I could not find this one on the website either. Uh, but to me, it smells like apples, leaves. Um, let's see. It smells like apples, leaves, apple cider, something like that. I really like it a lot. Whatever apple is in here, I really, really like it. So again, I hope this one's offered too. Um, on the restock. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'll do scent shots first. Um, I do have the scent descriptions here on my invoice, which I think is really good. So I'll just go in order of that so I'm not like searching for scent descriptions and stuff. So the first one that I will show you guys is the Boxer Bakery. And this is powdered donuts, snickerdoodles, and hints of brown sugar and cider. This is amazing. I really like this one a lot. The powdered donuts goes like really, really well with this cider that's in here. I'm trying to get it out. There we go. Yeah, I like this a lot. 
And then you definitely smell like the really sweet brown sugar too. That one is awesome. I definitely recommend that one for fall time. All right, let's see what's next. Then we have Bonfire Marshmallow. And I wasn't sure um, if this was gonna be like a salty sea air beach nights type of thing. So this one is Bonfire Breezes and Toasted Marshmallow. So it's very, very similar. But it does not smell like your normal, like average beach nights. To me, it's a lot sweeter. You definitely get more of a smoky bonfire note than any salty sea air. I actually don't really smell salty sea air at all in this because they do have their own beach night version, which is Pirate Pup. And this doesn't smell like that. I actually like this version a lot better than the normal beach nights. I like beach nights, obviously, but I actually like this one a little bit better. So obviously when you buy the scent shots, you get two of each one. I obviously don't need to show you two of them. Okay, then we have, this one is kind of cool too. This one is pumpkin pound cake. And this is pumpkin creme brulee, maple sugar, and 7-Up pound cake. So it sounded really good. And then I saw the 7-Up pound cake in there. And I know that for me anyway, I always get the soda note from the 7-Up. But um, let me see. Yeah, to me, it smells like pumpkin and soda. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of that one just because I don't like 7-Up pound cake. I just don't like anything with fizzy notes in it, even if it's like really, really like a minor and really faint. I still like, I'm just not a soda person, but I got that one. All right, then we have this one. I've actually been wanting to try for a while. I can't remember if I have this one or not. I don't think I do. Uh, this is Timberwolf, which is smoky vanilla, apple, pineapple, cedar, and fir. I might have gotten this as a sample, but I really don't remember. I'm going to have to go and check. But I really like this one too. The apple in here is really good. And I think it goes really well with like this cedar. It's like masculine, and then you get an apple touch to it. And then the smoky vanilla, obviously. I think that's what's making it come off masculine, is like the smoky vanilla, and then the cedar, obviously. I really, really like that one. I definitely want to try that one out in the bedroom, because it's a really good blend. They did that one really, really well. They always do their blends really well. I'm always, like, really impressed with the stuff that they come up with. Okay, then we have, wait, is this one? Yeah, Mrs. Wolf, and I did get both of them, the Mr. and the Mrs., but this one comes first, so. Um, this one is Mahogany Coconut, which is Mr. Wolf, and then they added Candy Cherries and Honey Apple Spice. So it's a mixture of Mr. Wolf and then Honey Apple Spice and Cherries. I love this. This is so good. Now, I knew that I was going to like Mr. Wolf because I like mahogany scents. I like masculine scents. And this mostly smells of, like, masculine to me, of, like, the mahogany. But you do get a little bit of a sweetness to it. You do get a little tiny bit of the cherry. It's not overwhelming. Sorry, these are kind of hard to get out. But, yeah, I really like this one. I might actually prefer this one over Mr. Wolf, but they're both really good. <laughs> I really, really like that one a lot, though. I've been, like, all about masculine lately, which is so strange because that's not something that I ever gravitated towards, but I've really been liking it a lot. Okay. Then I got Hot Fuzz, and this is Grape Jelly Donuts and Coffee. So I failed to realize that this had grape in it even though I read the scent description but when I think of jelly donuts I always think of like the normal jelly donuts that we're all used to and um I didn't realize that like grape jelly donuts was going to smell like grape and that other vendors jelly donuts is normally like a raspberry or a strawberry which is what I'm used to so I don't hate this scent I'm just not a big grape fan I don't know it's okay like I'm I don't know I don't really ever have any grape on me just because it's just not something that I ever thought that I would like and the one time that I did have a grape scent I just was not a fan so I just never really went back to it um it's not horrible though it's really not I should have given that another chance so maybe I'll melt that one and we will see okay then I got pug rolls and this is buttered rolls whipped sugar and cotton candy that just sounded so good to me and I love this label look at the little pugs on there like, they have the cutest label ever. This is amazing. You definitely get the buttery, slightly yeasty note. And then it's, like, sweetened up really, really well um, with the cotton candy. 
I love this so much. And it doesn't smell like honey buttered rolls. I don't know if I said that accidentally. It's not honey, because it does not smell like honey. It's buttered rolls, and then with the whipped sugar and cotton candy. So good, definitely recommend that one, if you're a bakery fan. Okay, then we have Reaper, and again, I love these labels. I'm so excited for their fall and Halloween stuff. Like, everything that she's been posting on the Facebook group page just looks adorable. So this is apples, white chocolate, campfire, and powdered sugar. This is so good as well. You guys know I've been all about Apple as well lately. I just love this. Like, I don't know what white chocolate is really supposed to smell like. I get mostly campfire and apples, which is an amazing combo. That's mainly to me what I pick up. But I also just got these like a few days ago, so they probably still need to cure. Uh, but that's really, really good. Again, if you like Mac Apple Scents, I highly, highly, highly recommend that one. Oh, okay. The farm hound that's over there. I bought that one. I thought I did. So now I can't remember what I got in the um, referral bundle. I can't remember now. Okay, well, I see the farm hound on my invoice, which is why I just said that. I didn't realize that up until, like, right this second. Um... So now I can't remember what I got in the referral bundle, but whatever it was, thank you so much. <laughs> all right, let's continue. I knew I was going to make that mistake. Like, something seemed kind of off about that, but all right, whatever. Okay, we have astronaut bread, and this is so cute. I love that label, too. So this is kettle corn, s'mores, vanilla, and nutmeg. I love kettle corn scents. I feel like I'm kind of an outsider on that. I feel like a lot of people don't like kettle corn. But I love it. I don't think it smells like hot buttered popcorn or anything like that. It smells like sticky, caramel, sweet corn. <laughs> but I love this. And I really like the uh, vanilla and nutmeg that they added to it. I don't really smell much s'mores. To me, it mostly smells like kettle corn and nutmeg. Which is a really, again, a really good combination. Love that one. I really don't think there's anything here that I hate or like really dislike. Just some things that I'm like, eh. But for everything else, I, like, love everything that I got. Okay. This one I am going to show you both just because it's cute. So this is peanut butter and jelly. And this one is brown. And then the other one that I got was purple, which I think is just so funny and so cute. So peanut butter and jelly. So it's peanut butter and grape jelly. And um, they're both the same scent. One is not peanut butter and one is not jelly. They're both peanut butter and jelly. They're just dyed different colors, which I think is, like, a really cute touch. I actually, again, I don't really mind this one either. Um, I have come to realize that I actually do kind of like peanut butter scents. They're not like my favorite thing in the world. If I come across one, I'll probably pick it up, but it's not something that I would melt like 24 seven, but I do like it. And I really don't mind the grape scent that's in here either. So I will be trying those and seeing what I think about them. Okay, then we have, if I can find it, the Star Pugs Coffee, which again, adorable. Oops, and I lost the invoice. Okay, so this is fresh brewed coffee. <laughs> okay, that was easy enough. So just coffee. I really, really like this a lot as well. So I know that there's, there's actually an oil called Starbucks Coffee. I wonder if that's what this is, and then she obviously just renamed it. Or if it's just like fresh brewed coffee. Because it legit smells like a Starbucks. Like it seriously smells like walking into a Starbucks. Which is why I'm wondering if it's the actual Starbucks oil. Or if she's just a magician when it comes to Starbucks coffee scents. Which is definitely possible. Okay. Then I decided to grab Midnight Munchies. And one, love the label. Two, love the name. So this is chocolate, cinnamon, bread, and toasted marshmallows. So I really like their chocolate cinnamon scents. I think it's the Raven that I'm thinking of. That one is amazing, so I wanted to try another one. And out of, like, as of right now, I like the Raven a little bit better. But this is still really good. It's a true chocolate scent. It's not one of those weird, waxy-smelling, artificial chocolate scents. It smells like actual chocolate with like cinnamon is that, yeah cinnamon right yeah that's exactly what it smells like it legit just smells like cinnamon and chocolate i don't smell toasted marshmallow or bread 
but I love this chocolate scent. This is probably my favorite chocolate scent so far just because it smells so true to actual chocolate. And I know a lot of vendors have amazing wax and I'm not like discounting anyone else, but I know with a lot of chocolate scents, no matter who you get it from, it always smells waxy to me. Um, even some of the best rated vendors, some of my absolute favorite vendors, their chocolate scents just smell waxy to me. I don't know if it's me or if I don't know if it's me with the oils that they're using, but that one does not smell waxy, which is why I really like that one. Okay. Then I got Pup Pride, and this one came out during June for Pride Month, which I absolutely loved. And this is the prettiest scent shot I think that I own. Look how amazing that is with all the rainbow the colors like that is so pretty so pup pride i was taking a chance on this one like i really wanted to get it anyway just because it was rainbow and it's for pride month but i wanted to try the scent too so this is goji berries blueberries raspberry cotton candy and vanilla so everything sounded amazing besides the goji berries because i've never had that scent before and i don't know what it's supposed to smell like but i love this you guys know what this reminds me of it reminds me of Gelato from Bath & Body Works. If anybody remembers that candle, I think they actually brought it back for the semi-annual sale at some point this year, maybe last year, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was just called Gelato. It smells exactly like this. It's kind of crazy how similar they are, or actually how exact they are. It's just that this one is a little bit stronger, but that was so crazy to me when I first smelled it. I'm like, what does that remind me of? And I still have a little mini one wick gelato candle and it smells exactly, exactly like that. So that was really cool and I love the scent, which is great because that scent shot is just like amazing. Okay. Um, then we already talked about this one, which is Mr. Wolf, which is the mahogany coconut. And I love the background to this one because it looks like marble. I really like that a lot. So this is just regular mahogany coconut super duper strong super masculine super clony i love it this is definitely one that i would recommend cutting in half normally with woof wicks i would use the whole one because it's only like um 1.25 ounces i believe these are yeah uh but i recommend cutting that one in half because it is very 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 strong okay now we have bahamas which is another very cute one and this guy is strawberry, pineapple, and coconut, which just sounded amazing. I really do like pineapple coconut scents. I just haven't found one that I'm like super in love with. And I do like this, but I wish the strawberry wasn't so candied smelling. I wish it was more of like a strawberry jam type of scent. Because it just smells really like candied strawberry, like artificial. But other than that, I really like the pineapple and I really like the coconut in that one. All right, so all right, I do have some scent shots left over here. So these must be the ones that I did not order because I went through this whole thing and I went through all of the scent descriptions. So I guess these were the ones that I got as extras. Um, I must have missed something because I don't think I got that many because I still have three scents here, which is six scent shots. I don't remember getting that many as extras. Let me see. No, I guess I did because they're not on here. All right. Well, we have Trick or Treat. This one smells like um, Campfire Marshmallow, like Marshmallow Fireside. Yeah, that's what this smells like. Maybe with like powdered donuts or something. I really like this one a lot, actually. I really feel like I ordered this, but it's not on the invoice. That's so strange. I'm going to have to go back and look at my email or look at my order list that I keep in my book um, because I feel like that's definitely something that I would order. Okay, and then I have the Grim, which again, I swear I ordered this, but it's not on here. Oh, this is so good though. This is definitely coffee, like coffee all day. I don't know what it's mixed with though, but it's definitely her coffee scent mixed with something. It's not just coffee. That is really, really good. Okay, this one I do see getting as extra though. So this is pineapple cider, and I don't know if I would have ordered this or not. Again, it's not on here, but I don't remember getting that many extras. I am not sure, unless I'm missing an invoice. No, because it ends right here. I don't know. That's so strange. 
This is actually really good. Ooh, I like this a lot, actually. It's definitely pineapple and it smells like apple cider. Ooh. I like that one a lot. I don't remember actually even smelling this one. Okay, so clearly I'm all over the place. All right, so those are all the scent shots. Whether I bought them or not, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate all of the extras. And then I just got a couple, two packs and then some other like extra things. So the first one that I have here is strawberry daiquiri. So I like this one, but again, it smells really artificial and really candied-like. So if you like candied strawberries, I, you'll obviously like this one, but I prefer more like strawberry jam, fresh strawberry type scents. And then I have this one already, which is Smoky Paws Barkery, and uh, I just really wanted some more of it. So this is Red Velvet Cake, Tobacco Caramel, Vanilla Bean Noel, Sugar Cookie, and Pie Crust. I love this one. I can melt this all day, every day. It is so good, and it looks so pretty when it's melting, too. So, so good. Okay, then I did get a souffle cup. Move this back a little bit, make myself some room. I got a souffle cup in summer sorbet, and I don't remember the exact scent description for this one. I think it was like mango, cherry, coconut, something. To me, it smells a little bit like serendipity if that helps you out. So this is so cute. I know the bag is a little bit messy, but like I said, it's been sitting there for a few days and I've been like moving stuff and resetting up my wax collection, getting more storage. So, so that's what it looks like. So cute. This is really heavy too. Oh my God, it smells so good. So like I said, it doesn't smell exactly like serendipity, but it's very similar. And don't let the mango scare you because I do not like mango scents at all. And I don't smell any mango in this. So I'm really actually glad that I took a chance on that one in my last order and actually melted it. And then the last thing that I got was a pie in pie crust. I love her pie crust. It is so good. It is so strong. I'll take this one out too so you can see it a little bit better. This is not a souffle cup. This is all wax. Just one big piece of wax. Look how adorable that is. So it looks like a dog bowl with like dog food in it and then the little paw print. I don't know if that's what it actually is, but it's so cute and it smells amazing. I love her pie crust. It's so good on its own and then it's so good mixed with other things, which is why I wanted a bigger piece of it so I can like chop some off and mix it or just do it on its own. Oh my God. I can literally like sit here and smell that all day long. And I know it's like Amber's like favorite scent ever and she mixes a lot of stuff with it. So I get a lot of my blending ideas from her. <laughs> so that's everything that I ended up getting. Sorry, this was a little bit jumbled and messed up, but like I said, it's been sitting there for a few days. So I don't remember what I got for free or like as extras. And I don't remember exactly everything that I ordered. I am assuming that the last ones that I showed you were in the referral bundle because instead of the farm hound, it was those other two cents because they're not on the invoice and I don't know what wicks to make a mistake and not send you a whole invoice. I will double check my own records though, like my um, order book and my email, but I am pretty sure that those were extras just as to, you know, referring people, which is, I think is so amazing that they really care about their customers and they really care about youtubers that make videos and support them and obviously just get their name out there i think that is a really 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 cool extra that they do for you know people like me that do take the time out to make videos although it's never ever expected but it is a really nice surprise when you do get something a little bit extra just for you know putting a little bit of work into it and to just helping them grow their business, although they're doing just fine without me because <laughs> they have a lot of really, really awesome customers and I don't blame them because they have amazing wax and I will definitely be a long time customer of them. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Amber and Steven for all that you do and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.